From the idea to the concept to the final product, lots of changes do occur until the production ready version is arrived at. And on this day, we bring you all there is to know about the next generation Nissan Kicks, guys. This will include design exterior interior changes, drivetrain updates, which encompasses um, engine options, transmission updates, and the wheel setup. We'll also tackle dimensional changes in the front wheel drive or wheel drive variants and ultimately the key features expected on this 2025 Nissan Kicks which is entirely different from the outgoing generation. At this point, allow me to welcome you to the channel Autostop and a sub to the channel will be greatly, greatly appreciated guys. Now let's get down to the business of being here and what we are looking at is the all new second generation Nissan Kicks 2025. And as you can see, it features a tougher and a more powerful appearance with a sneaker inspired design. Actually, according to Nissan senior designer Ken Lee, the identity of this compact segment SUV is showcased in the front facade with horizontal LED lights seamlessly integrated into the large grille. I think you can see it surrounding the black grille area, guys so i believe we are all seeing this and we agree that this is very well done but then because we've seen this lots of times let me just jump to the back end of the vehicle so that i can touch on something very unique and then we'll move on so from the rear here the car features a unique cut of led lights with integrated black decorations i think you side with me on this one if you don't you can gladly put your comments in the comment section and would like to hear you. But then what distinguishes these new kicks from the old kicks primarily is the fact that Nissan developed this particular one on a new platform called the CMFB unibody chassis with a multi-link detached rear suspension system for the first time, guys. So the kicks get something different, the multi-link detached suspension system for the first time. And this detached suspension system contributes to the ease of adding the automatic four-wheel drive system for the first time on this particular trim, guys. So this accounts for a difference in the wheelbase between the front-wheel drive variant and the four-wheel drive version of this new generation kick, such that the 2025 Nissan kick becomes 71 millimeters longer 41 millimeters wider and the highest of 20 to 22 millimeters than the previous generation guys but then even within the text there are still differences as earlier stated amongst the front wheel drive variant and then the four wheel drive variant so generally the length of this vehicle is about 4366 millimeters and then the width is about a thousand 801 millimeter now when you get to the four wheel drive in terms of height the front wheel drive has a height of 1626 millimeters as opposed to the four wheel drive which has a 1631 millimeters as in 1631 millimeters that's a difference of about five millimeters taller than the front wheel drive and then when you get to the base the front wheel drive version has a 2657 millimeters as opposed to the four wheel drive which has 2664 millimeters now that's about seven millimeters difference guys but i'll put the numbers here you can pause the video so that you can actually comprehend what i'm talking about right when we talk about base i cannot move on without touching the changes they made on their wheels so on the wheels the rims became five screws for rims compared to the previous generation which had four rim screws guys and this tiny crossover also has a prominent wheel arc with matte black cladding and a 19 inch alloy wheel and a striking led taillights as earlier stated with black trim on the tailgate and across the tail lights i'm sure you would like to know how much you can carry in terms of cargo capacity I would gladly bless you with that and that's about 30 cubic feet when the seats are raised and you get 60 cubic feet when the seat is lowered there is also a small hidden storage compartment which is available below the trunk floor but at this point let me get on to the models that we are receiving for this particular nissan kicks and as usual we've got three we've got the s the SV and then the fully loaded version, which is the SR. So technically speaking, we are getting the 2025 Nissan Kicks X model, 
we are getting the 2025 nissan kick xv model and then ultimately the sr model now when you talk about these three let me quickly jump into their carbons and the built-in carbon in the kicks s model which is the base model comes with two built-in screens each has a size of seven inches while when you get to the higher trims the sv and then the sr models you get a two dual panoramic screens each size is a 12.3 inches and this supports apple carplay android auto entertainment system with touch climate control panel and the 2025 nissan kick also features an electronically openable panoramic sunroof and then you also get to enjoy a 10 bow speaker positioned in the headrest and an extra luggage as you're talking about on the trunk floor so basically that is what it is in the on the inside but let me touch on a few key features here and standardly all nissan kick classes for the 2025 are available with a safety show 360 from nissan safety show 360 ads and it features an adaptive smart radar system pro pilot assist only on the sr models guys so that is it but you cannot do this without letting us know how much power we are getting is it the same as what we got on the previous generation or there is something new there's good news because you are getting something new not just in the engine room but also in the transmission room so let's go with it the nissan kicks is actually going to be available with a new direct injection quad engine with a 2.0 liter capacity that produces 141 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 190 Newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM, which actually calls for a new CVT transmission to replace the previous 1.6 liter quad engine with 118 horsepower and 149 Newton meters of torque, guys. So, yes, this engine from above, okay, the 2.0 liter four cylinder engine is combined with nissan's new extronic automatic gearbox guys which is good news we want to believe that the extronic automatic gearbox is a better offer than the cvt that we've always had on this kick now we do not have much on the inclusion of the 2025 nissan kicks hybrid variant in the form of 2025 nissan kicks e-power but in a situation where we come across that we would obviously keep you posted and that is why you need to subscribe if you haven't and put a notification bell so that as soon as we do you would be notified now there are individuals who want more traction okay and so there's an optional intelligent all-wheel drive system with snow drive mode which is there now that 2025 nissan kicks all-wheel drive intelligent one is designed to enhance traction and stability in various driving conditions what happens is that it automatically detects slip and seamlessly transfer power between the front and rear wheels to improve grip and stability guys and this is what we got for you we will be updating this the very moment we've got power numbers and any information on a hybrid powertrain as an e-power so thank you so much have a good great day until we meet same time again bye bye